Hey everybody, this is the Aggressively Medium Podcast with Lee and Josh. Hey Josh. Hey, also our wives. <laughs> yeah. Hey. We got some other people here yeah. today. We, uh, yep, we have our wives. Mm-hmm. Back again. Oh, 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 I'm Meg. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Hello, and I'm Anna. <laughs> yep. I'm Lee. I'm Lee's wife, and oh. <laughs> no. this is Anna's no, no. husband, Josh. Yes. We decide to flip flop. Mm -hmm. no, we don't do that. <laughs> no. Actually, no. that's weird. <laughs> I meant seats. Like, whatever you say. No, that's not what I meant. I meant like you're not digging yourself out of that yeah. one. And I there's know. no edits. I'll just stop. So, yeah. This None. is hot. This is this is everything this is all at once. This Here is we us. go. Real life. Uh, yeah. This is episode so, 106. 106. Wow. Turn your hat forward. I have mine backwards to start. Mine was backwards when I walked in your house. Turn your hat forward, please. You literally haven't even They're thought about that for match. a second. I did. Turn your hat. Why? Because we can't both have backwards hat. We look like six years. We look like we're six years old. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna change throughout the course of the episode. I so. mean, I love how you looked at me for like, hey, like, what chime do you in. Think? Yeah. And I'm like, act, oh, don't act like no. Nope. Don't Which act way? like we haven't had this Do discussion you? before. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. So episode one hundred six. One hundred six. Um, and we are starting it off hot. Yep. With Guinness yeah. Book of World Records, something. You yes. Said? Yeah. 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 So it is uh, the fourteen, thankfully discontinued Guinness World Records. Do you remember opening up a Guinness Book of World Record? Yeah. When you were like, I in, had them. They were real yeah. shiny. And I huge. always wanted one. Oh, yeah. They almost like, let me buy one. 06, 07, 08. I think I, I mm -hmm. remember those. I never owned any because we weren't, we didn't have money. But you'd go to a bookstore and read the them. The library. Library. Oh, dude. Do they still make those books? I don't know if they make I don't them know like if they colored. Make books I don't know if they sell them. They still have a Guinness World Records. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I don't know if they like I don't think commercially they make, sell the book to kids. I don't think they've made a book, period. I remember being traumatized. Like, Nobody prints books anymore. Yeah. I was like traumatized by one of the Guinness Book of World Records for not printing Longest books. Longest nails. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yes. I, I feel like everyone that knows that. was like 13 that. feet or something. Yes. No. Yeah. Uh, All right. So this is nasty. the 14 thankfully discontinued Guinness World Records. Number one, longest time to keep a tobacco pipe lit. Hmm. Um, so they have cancer now. Mm -hmm. So the, mm -hmm. the record is one hour, 55 minutes and 11 seconds. Obviously, they wow. got rid of it because they don't want to push yeah, tobacco. tobacco consumption. Yeah. Was it the longest lit vape pen now? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. All right. But Gross. they're really specific about their stuff. Oh, like, yeah. It, that would be a next category. Mm -hmm. Number two, largest edible pie fight. Uh, Why was that discontinued? Does it say? or 1,200 chocolate, apple, and cherry pies in a big fight. It was a corporate retreat thing. Uh, like, that's um, amazing. They... Mm. It was in uh, 2011. They don't want you to waste food. That's Have you ever been in a legit food fight? No. I've been I've been in a in a <clears throat> cafeteria that was having one happen, but I wasn't a oh, part gosh. of it. I was in college, uh -huh. and it was at somebody's house. And oh, y'all like planned it and stuff. It was not planned. It just somehow it started, mm. and then it just continued and escalated you and throw escalated. Food in my house. Oh, <clears throat> look! It oh, wasn't my house. Oh my gosh. Don't even think about it. What in my house? <laughs> so, A, you're breaking stuff. Mm -hmm. And two, you got to clean up every inch of the house. Yeah. That's mm. splattered with. That's. Awful. Well, and yourself, too. We like, had a. We had places that shouldn't be. We mm -hmm. had a really good uh, friend of mine that I, grad, that I grew up with. His mom was a math teacher in our middle school. Mm -hmm. She got clocked with a. Uh, a uh, cafeteria tray mm. in the back of the head during a fight one time oh, and got covered in food. It was terrible. That sounds like something out of a movie. Yeah. Number three, fastest time to eat a whole roast ox. I'm sorry. Is it because there's not a bunch of oxes anymore? In 1880, Oxen. Oxen. a guy in Germany ate a whole roast ox in 42 days. And then died. Uh... uh Gluttony record. They cut a bunch of gluttony uh, How many hot dogs can you eat? Yeah. And all that <gasps> stuff, probably. Most beer drunk in an hour. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, probably alcohol he's poisoning. Dead. In 1969, 23-year-old yep. Jack Keys of Northern Ireland downed 36 pints of beer, Ooh. 576 U.S. Uh, ounces in an hour. 
Pints are like this big. Yeah, the pints are huge. So thirty six of them in an hour. That's one every twenty like eight seconds. I don't think I've ever even finished one in an hour. Yeah. I'll finish the I think that's a lot. <laughs> 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 but also, also, I don't really drink, drink beer. So yeah. I don't yeah. like, I don't All right, like number beer. five, the heaviest cat, 46 pounds. Uh, animal <laughs> abuse. <laughs> it's the fat yeah. animal stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Most sky lanterns released simultaneously. Because uh, they're burning up fields and stuff. Fires. And yeah, just, just yeah, pollutant. Uh, largest audience at a camel wrestling festival. At I a told what? you they were specific. A camel what? Wrestling. Cam- How does that work? In 1936, okay. um, they had 20,000 people at this. Or in 1994. I was about to say. In Turkey. Yeah. Mm. Uh, they don't want you wrestling animals. Animal abuse stuff. Okay. Wait, is it people Against wrestling world. camels or camels wrestling each camels. other? I think it would be people wrestling camels. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't find out. Either way is fine with me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Most guitars smashed during a concert tour. Yeah. <laughs> That's so wasteful. What's wrong with that? Oh. Or uh, wasteful. Who is Muse? Have you heard of Muse? Yes. yes. They're, They're like a... Uh, <clears throat> I don't know anything about them. They're kind of like Radiohead. Matthew yeah. Bellamy. <clears throat> yeah. In 2004, singer. in one circuit, he smashed 140 guitars. Fantastic. Bless his heart. There was a, a, a band that was like a hardcore band, and they would destroy all of their instruments after every set, in amps and everything. <laughs> But it was like they would literally go to Walmart and go buy new stuff mm-hmm. and then destroy it. Oh, cheap stuff. Yeah, the chariot. We're going to do the last one. Most greeting cards received by an individual. <laughs> Why uh, is that bad? By, so in 1989, friends and family. This one actually, this one's actually pretty cool. So I'll just read the whole paragraph. Friends and family, Craig Shergold, young brain cancer patient in the UK. They launched a greeting card, like a get well soon thing for yeah. the kid. He died. Two years later, he had gotten 33 million <clears throat> cards. Jesus. Wow. And they that address has been getting cards since that day. So, oh, wow. Yeah. A so, of all, how do you know it's 33 million? Surely nobody counted 33 million. Like, that would just be... I mean, if you count them every day and added it up... To make it into the count, record book, but, you have to have an accurate... True. Number. Unless they did it They're by weight. Specific. By May of so two years later, a staggering thirty-three million cards had reached him, and he made it into the Guinness Book. In fact, it worked a little too well. Uh, he received millions of letters for years after the campaign had ended, and then a bunch of copycat hoaxes happened, and it mm. like put a strain on the on the uh, mail system, and it was just that's forty-five thousand. 000- 205 a day. Okay. I'm just saying, ain't nobody counting that. <laughs> off of that. I know. I'm just oh saying, ain't nobody counting that. Anyway, those are the uh, discontinued Guinness World Records. I don't know if there's that many seconds in a day. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know. 45,000. But if I had you two, that's... <laughs> yeah. We just yeah. cut it in half. Yeah. You but go. you had to count the two <laughs> to give to me. Yeah. So. But I mean, one, two. It's not that bad. That's less than three a minute. That's a lot. <laughs> <It'll> just, <laughs> anyways. What's that? That's a lot of uh, so, uh, safest. Oh, man. It's me heavy on the, fr- yeah, on the front pretty, end. It's pretty heavy. You I brought a lot to, to talk to about begin today. With. All right. What did we say? Which one is this one? The safest U.S. How got, safe is the U.S.? I got to find Shrinking my Shrinking it down from the world to our own country. No, it's the world. Oh, yeah, the what? world. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you said. I said how safe you said is the U.S.? Safe, oh, I thought you said safest in the U.S. Oh, and it's not. That yeah, was the point. Yeah. yeah. Spoiler alert. Yeah. It's not. Is anyone that surprised? <laughs> well, I'm not going to act like I can find this. You just had it like five I know. minutes ago. Let me see. Is this it? Mental floss? No. Nah. That's where you just were. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Gosh. Way to be prepared. Hey, I am prepared. It's just all here. I got some safest countries. Okay. I go. looked. I thought that was a barrier <laughs> reef, not a city. Uh, <laughs> okay, it's Wakanda. It's actually Iceland. I'm just kidding. Wakanda yeah. doesn't exist. So yeah. So the 25 safest countries in the world, the U.S. is nowhere near this 20. Did you just realize that Wakanda didn't exist? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I was having no face on my face. My wife. Uh, I don't, uh, it's on YouTube now forever. It's okay. That's fine. Yeah. We'll talk about more it of that was, in a second. It was so good. <laughs> she didn't know it was fake. 
Did you think the tech was real? I've never seen the movie. Oh, okay. That makes yeah. it a whole lot better then. That's one of the ones no, I haven't seen. That makes yeah. it a whole okay. lot better. Because if she had seen all the spaceships and crap and then was like, oh. yeah, she's that's seen, in Africa. She's seen Wakanda because she watched, we watched Avengers. Yeah, but it's Avengers. <clears throat> anyway. Anyway. You need to keep going before she, <laughs> people realize some things about her. <laughs> Gosh. Okay. So apparently there's this thing <clears throat> called the Global Peace Index mm -hmm. that keeps track of global peace. Obviously. Yeah. The, the GPI. Of it. Yeah. Yeah. Don't act like you know what it is. <laughs> yeah, the GPI. Yeah. So this year we're down 0.07% globally on a uh, peacefulness. Makes sense. Yeah. Just Russia in general. and Ukraine probably yeah. brought the mean average down. Okay. To rank nations by peacefulness, <laughs> mm -hmm. the Institute for Economics and Peace analyzes factors like militarization, domestic and international conflicts, and crime levels. Based on this data, Iceland was the safest place on earth since 2008. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. You don't get safer than Iceland just because there's nothing there. I want to go to Iceland. Yeah, it's green too. Greenland's yeah. mm -hmm. ice and Iceland's green. Yep. Yeah. The Vikings tricked everybody. Yep, yep. yep. Which What's you the, think like, well, that's where, dumb. Where's the but US? if you floated all the way to Greenland for it to be ice and then you had to float all the way back, people would just not go back. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's what, yeah. Back then, like it was brilliant. I mean, similar. Oh, very yeah. similar. The cruise ships. You go and way. you're like, this wasn't what I thought it was. Yeah. Like where? Mexico. What? It's yeah. a joke. Oh. Yeah. All right. I enjoy it. Mexico. I'm going to blow through this list. I Honestly, you don't give, me the, give me the top five. Top five. That's good. Uh, Iceland. Mm -hmm. New Zealand. This is going backwards. No, this is one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was figuring you'd start at five. I did too, but I didn't. Okay. <laughs> the safest place is Iceland. Iceland. Okay. Second then you safest. got New Zealand, Denmark, Portugal, Slovenia. Where's the U.S.? We're, I couldn't even find us on this list of 169 countries. Wow. But we were blowing through. We're in there somewhere. You're not going to find it. Yeah, well. You won't, though. Challenge if we're accepted. If we're on it, then I'll find <laughs> it. I don't know if we're on it. Uh, Let's Google how safe is the U.S. If you're looking for where the United States ranks in the GPI, okay. you won't find it on the list below. It came in 122nd out of 163 countries, wow. countries analyzed. Yeah. Hey, we're not last. Freedom that's freaks and <laughs> problems. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Is that... That's, no, that's I mean, a that's lot. A, I feel like How safe is North Korea? Lot. It's probably pretty stinking probably safe. Probably pretty safe, yeah. yeah. Uh, so here's... I, I don't know I don't if Mexico's care. on that list where they're at. I'm Probably sure so, they're yeah. below us. They yeah. would have to be. But I I was talking with somebody about this the other day. How weird is it that, like, there's literally, it's a river that goes between the two of us, the Rio Grande. Mm -hmm. That's all that separates the two countries and some portions of a wall. There's nowhere that I've, like, been like, hey, I'm going to go to the beach that I worry about, like, getting stabbed or shot. If I even like remotely went to Mexico and just like drove up to a beach, I would be yeah. terrified yeah. the entire time. Mm. It's so like, I don't know. It's weird. There's a river that separates us and then it's just lawlessness yeah. on the other yeah. side. Yeah. You can't drink the water there. Yeah. You'll get yeah. sick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just, just different. We touch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we for sure touch. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but well, that seems like what a lot of people are mad about all the time. Is that coming across here unfettered? But uh, most of these are in Europe. That's what it said for some reason. Europe's a pretty, pretty cool place, I guess. It's safe, but at what cost? Because you like can't have a gun in mm. most of Europe. Yeah. It's a, like, I don't mm. know. That explains why people and, want that. And they here. did make a good point that like a lot of these countries are tiny. And who mm. are they going to fight? Yeah, They're yeah. surrounded by five other countries. And it's probably like... So right. they spend like no money on military. That's a huge one. That's why mm -hmm. we're so low. Yeah. Because we spend more... We fight everybody. Well, we just have... We just <laughs> spend yeah. more than like most of the rest of the world mm -hmm. combined on military just to sit around. Which yeah. is... Right. I'm, uh, hey, carry a heavy stick or whatever that expression is. Yeah. Big stick. How safe do you feel? Do I feel? Yeah. In my little town of Tuscaloosa. In your house. At In my night. house at night. Yeah. On your side of town. Um, safer than where I was before. Where do we you, lived before. Do you feel like do you ever worry that like somebody's just gonna scream in the middle of the night? <laughs> In our bedroom. 
Yeah, you. <clears throat> yeah. So this week has been a big week for sleep talking, apparently, because I have oh, three man. recordings. Have you, you have not told me this. No, nah, <laughs> I haven't it told me? anybody. No, okay. it's it's always me. It's always Were you just. screaming? I there are a few on here that I can't remember what it was, but one of them was I you was, woke me up once. Yeah. I just went back to sleep. Yeah. So for those of you that don't listen to the podcast regularly and you're just now tuning in, this is like an ongoing series with me that yeah. I just talk in my sleep and I'll start screaming in the middle of the night, apparently. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. One night we were at Megan. I don't know if I've told you this or not. We were at Meg's parents' house. <laughs> I don't know this one. And <laughs> I apparently was screaming that somebody was in the room with us. Yeah. And then she like woke me up and I was like, what are oh, you talking no. about? It's terrifying. I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, it could be worse. Yeah. It could be uh, worse. It, it could be way worse. That's right. Mm. I'll take snoring over that. When can we like <laughs> medically claim that you have like night terrors? And you, and Why it's just does it like, need to be medically claimed? What it? Because you fight me on it. You would fight me on it. I would fight you on it? Yeah, but no, I'm fine. Well, I am fine. What is it going to, what's going to happen if I just have night terrors? Better not act on it. Yeah. I mean, I haven't acted on mm -hmm. anything yet. He is taller than you. I know, but. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> this is what we got right now. Ooh. That was one. Are you sure it is just. Hold on. That's a pick. This is it right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what I night swear. was that? Uh, uh, Saturday night. Yeah, you woke, is, that was when I woke up. This is talking. This might be easy. Oh, uh, no. I just started saying piss, piss, piss. That's because you were looking for something or drop something. Huh. So, I guess you just really had to go to the bathroom or something. I don't something. know. Uh, <laughs> and then this is the next, the very next night. Oh, that's just snoring. Hold on. Here we go. That's not this much better. That's what I sleep next to, y'all. Oh. <laughs> that's not real. <laughs> you wake up and I do don't. that. Yeah, you do. I do not. <laughs> this was, it was a, I was having a nightmare. I, I'll tell you exactly what the nightmare was. I was, walking, no, I was walking down the steps in some house. I don't know whose house it was. Walking down the steps. And I look and I see mm -hmm. into like the living room, there's just like a seven, eight foot tall figure with just, it's draped in like, uh, in cloth. <laughs> and then I was like trying to talk to it. Like, what are you doing here? Like trying to say something. Oh, and then it just got. <laughs> oh. That's me trying to talk in my sleep. <clears throat> so. Oh my goodness. One of those nights you definitely woke me up, but then you stopped. So I just went back to sleep. I feel like I never dream. Well, I just don't remember my dreams ever. Apparently so every time I dream, I uh, have something to say about it. So wow. In my sleep. That's crazy. You can remember it though. I yeah. remember that one. There's some of like the one from the night before. I don't remember at all. I feel like the ones that kind of wake you up are the ones that you remember. Yeah. 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 Cause mm -hmm. that one definitely woke me up. Yeah. Um, Speaking of uh, laying in bed, <clears throat> we were you were saying you were saying? talking about something right before we started, and I just wanted it to be reiterated oh. <laughs> that last night we were laying in bed, but, and you uh, we have a to, we uh, have a comedian in our midst. Oh no no, no I don't know what <laughs> that you about. oh <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm hilarious <laughs> apparently I am hilarious I she mm. said something and then I said. Uh, I think it's funny because it not because of what you said, but because of I thought it was funny how funny you think you are. So you laugh at me, not with me. Yep, got it. That's exactly 100%. what. That's a hundred percent. Or he's laughing I at you for laughing at yourself. I'm hilarious because it's funny. So. No, you're not. Also, that's pretty universal. I don't think we've talked about this on the podcast Fine. before, but this is probably one of the to me. So you said we were driving down the road one day, and you might remember this after I start talking about it. You. We were talking about your gift giving. I don't remember a lot of things yeah, nowadays. That's true. So. Um, Mom brain. <clears throat> well, <laughs> so we were driving down the road and we we're talking about your gift giving, and you were like, "I put a lot of thought into it." And then I said, "Well, you don't have a lot of thought to give." <laughs> and 
And so it makes sense that your gift giving is not as great because you're putting thought into it. It's just not a lot. Ha ha. Ouch. Ha 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 ha. It was a joke. My yeah. husband, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Really. <laughs> I wouldn't give you a gift either. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Anyway. <laughs> Such a oh, butt butt. Uh, so this one's you. I don't know what yeah, it is. Yeah, so y'all, me and Josh dabble in talking about feminism every once in a while when oh, it comes we, up. Yeah. Our I'm, most I favorite actually podcast. gave him one of those topics that y'all yeah. got a lot of hits on. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, we're YouTube stars oh, yeah. from that awful one. Sorry. But oh, oh, the weapon that's a good confidence. Yeah. Weaponizing yeah. confidence one. Yeah. yeah. So this is just a video I found oh. that that uh, deals with the topic that I just wanted to get y'all's take on it, you two ladies, because okay. it's a different perspective on feminism than we're accustomed to. And he's got real goofy purple hair, so I'm sure he's really <sighs> those. It sounds those like a gem. <laughs> God's chosen. Because let's be honest, feminism has left men behind. No, that is factually inaccurate. The very things you describe in your video as feminism for men are things that feminism have enabled men to do. Only feminism has allowed men to create the spaces where they can behave as they want to without fear of retribution. We benefit from feminism every day. We benefit from feminism more than women do. I just want to. Do you agree? As women, I don't understand what he was saying. So, yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm so basically, like, so basically, also didn't like how he zoomed in on his butthole when he went, Buh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looked like a hairy little booty. Oh, hole. God. He just went, but <laughs> <laughs> men, yeah, kind of bounce back a little but. bit. Yeah, yeah so, so men pleasant. benefit more from feminism than women do. Mm. I. Obviously, that's a mental I don't challenge understand person how he's saying that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, <laughs> but I think so. How? I, how? There really, I mean, there isn't. I feel like he did all he ma did was make a statement. He didn't actually have any evidence that supported. Yeah, there was nothing, yeah. there was nothing backing is, up anything. So, nothing was. Have you ever heard of Matt Walsh? Yeah. I, yeah. So that was him, and I should have just let it play through. But at the end, he was like, "I hate the internet." This <laughs> is like all he said. <laughs> And There's he's just like, he's like, like these people get platforms yeah. to spew. Yeah, but so do we. We get our platform to say whatever we want. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. It's a free country. No, you're I right. mean, basically, That's, is he saying like men are allowed to be weak? And oh, it wasn't real. Like, There's no like breaking it down. It, uh, that was just, no, that, that guy has no point uh, to be yeah. made. No. That was stupid. I, I, uh, yeah, that was not meant to be real at all. Here. <sighs> Y'all say y'all dabble in feminism. We just deal with it when it comes up as a topic. Yeah. Not like we talk I about hear, it. I want to hear. I, I kind of wish I'd listen to some more of these. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Every I, now and then I do. And yeah. Jason's been listening to them without permission. So. Uh, <laughs> well. I just found that he out the other day. He could listen to a lot worse stuff. Yeah, if he true. just yeah, follows yeah, Josh true. around all day, it's the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. an hour a week instead of just... Yeah, constant Josh, <laughs> just least. a straight line IV of Josh <laughs> every day. That uh, <laughs> woof. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want that for myself. <laughs> uh, which that kind of like brings me to something. It's later on down on the list. Um, Hit it. So, do you agree with the fact that men can think about nothing? Absolutely. Okay. I did it on the way here, and it freaked her out. So, there's like there's two. Oh, yeah. I don't understand it. There's two like it's a there's a, a a fork in the road right there. When did you pick it up and eat it with it? <laughs> <That's> funny. <laughs> <I'm> hilarious. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> anyway, your wife's funny, John. Yeah, as she was like stumbling over a word. <laughs> did you do a, a, but with the Look, fork? Did you eat it? He's just mad because he got caught. Yes, this is what he does to me. He's just mad. Uh, so anyways don't dish it there's, can't a, fork take it. there's a fork in the road a metaphorical fork <laughs> metaphorical fork in the road <laughs> where yes we do think about absolutely nothing yeah also we think about something so very specific and weird mm -hmm. that it would take way more time to explain any of it than to just say nothing mm -hmm. like mm. 
But it's a passive nothing too. A lot of times for like on the way here, yeah. I was driving and she just looked, what did you say? I just said, you, you just, just looked Have off. you been listening at all? No. She asked no. and said, are you okay? She said, are you okay? Yeah. Uh, and I was yeah. driving. And I was like, yeah. Maybe that's why I ask you all the time. Yeah. Because y'all just kind of zone out. But I, she, was just, like, just, she was just like, off. you're just staring out the. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, did I, did I do something to put us in danger? She was like, no. I was like, what are you Gosh, talking about? He, he just kind person. of was just like. I was. Yes. Driving. And quiet. <laughs> he was just and, off. And yeah. actively, passively not thinking about it. You know what it probably is? One. This is just. And this is. Okay. And I know I just said active and passive back to back. So. And aggressive. Y'all, so women, I feel like, get the chance to relax. And don't. No, no, no. Like, when you're like, hey, can I take a bubble bath or whatever? Can I go take a bath? And you get the chance to, like, relax. We don't have a lot of those moments. And so it's like, I need to disengage my brain. We've learned how to shut it off, like, just just live. When when our when we don't need anything yeah. going on, when we're just driving down the road. You know how in new cars they throttle down when you're at a stoplight. <laughs> that's exactly that's what, what our brains yeah. do. And then when you start back up, it cranks back and goes. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what our. Brains or like do. how my car is with the auto stop. That's exactly that's what I'm yeah. just turns off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but the, turn so off. the other thing of it that I was was the like I'm thinking about something so specific. Like I just I just went through how would I like disassemble the the bottom floor of our house like in my head like i went through like okay so i'd take up all this and then what i would i go around the 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 molding would i take the molding up and then what i do this what i re when i'm putting it back down what i caulk it what i put liquid nail down what i grout what i and i'm like Mm -hmm. have been in that train of thought for 30 minutes and i'm so deep into it that like i know like every little detail of what Mm -hmm. i'm gonna do and then you're like what are you thinking about and it's like Mm -hmm. Nothing. <laughs> it's, nothing. A whole lot like, of nothing. I want to make, uh, or just like, I wonder if you took a bunch of squirrels, if you could like teach them like how to like read and write and talk. And like you go through like this whole thing and you're like, yeah. And then they could have like their own society. I and then a- what would their coins <laughs> be like? And then it's like, what are you thinking about? Nothing. I do can a we lot of, can we teach Jason squirrel that trick, societies. or does that come with the He'll, journey? He's got it all. That's literally he's, the conversation looking, I had with Jason. When only, he's but, looking off into the into no, no, no. Abyss, he's he says doing. it out loud. Oh yeah, well, he talks about it. It's pretty much like that's a whole story. <laughs> oh, that you just I want him to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that's all he no. wants. Yeah. No. Well, guys are just better at compartmentalizing things. Yeah. Like that's how they were created. I spent so. a lot of time thinking about um, My, crashes. <laughs> Oh yeah, survival. Yeah, yeah. Like well, if this plane crashed, what would I do? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Where are we? What are we over? Are we over yeah. land? Are we over water? Zombies. Where's the nearest? When's the last ta- the well, last town real, I saw? So. Yeah. Oh, for sure. But just it's. it's I think about okay, <clears throat> this this happens laying in bed and you're like okay, the dogs start barking. I get a notification. Somebody's in the house. Where do I go? What do I do? Mm-hmm. What's my first plan? Who do I? What is? I do that when the, you're not here. If the house is on fire, where do I go first? Yeah. What do I do? Yeah. What's our exit plan? <laughs> all all day that yeah. happens. I yeah. probably need to work on that more. I did not. Mm-hmm. Well, that's well, why. Well, I forgot that's why. In public. Right. Oh, so right. situational awareness is right. so big. Yeah. And we've talked about if this I before. I had a dollar yeah. for every time I, I grew was up like, in New Orleans. And my situational awareness. Sit sit. I, situational I've awareness i've gotten way better sure. i just if i had I a do- if i had a dollar for every time i was like whoa and then three or four seconds later she's like what yeah mm-hmm. well like when we're it's walking through a store so. i'm i'm casing up every single right. person that walks past us yeah. like you're you're judging them you're looking at them you're like okay if they yeah. move this way if they do this if they do that and then do you they're the just pushing a cart looking at toys or something i don't know <laughs> Oh gosh! You that <gasps> the movie I know what you're gonna talk about. Oh my gosh! Yes. That you thought that guy yes. was me. Okay, I, I can him. I can tell the story. I can tell the story. <laughs> what? So <laughs> what? So we were we were at the. Um, it used to be a like a movie rental store. I I don't even remember which one it was, but it's not at Midtown anymore. And um, oh, uh, movie stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was just you know meandering down the the aisle, just looking for different movies, and then like Lee was beside me, so I was just like. 
hey and then he kind of moved away and I'm like what the heck so I just did a little bit harder I looked over and it was like a 10 year old kid and he looked <laughs> terrified so I was just like we gotta go we gotta go we gotta go and I just like booked it out of the store so that kid went back and told his parents <laughs> I, there was a sexual predator that was trying to pick me up <laughs> and, it was, it was so me. awful that's amazing. I, I mean movie star. That's yeah amazing. it could have been way worse but thankfully we just rubbed shoulders so yeah, yeah. I think yeah. Well, the way that Lee was leaning no. into it it sounded like you can't one behind him, you give him a big bear hug. Yeah, like, still though, no, no. That's, <laughs> yeah, it's enough. It's, it's yeah. probably one. It's yeah. up there with one of my most embarrassing that's moments. Awesome. <laughs> that would be you pretty. Know, yeah, <laughs> you know that. Um, I don't know where you're trying to go with this, but uh, I had a pretty good transition. If you wanted to hear it, what rubbing it. shoulders? So that that movie stop was in Midtown mm -hmm. by Barnes and Noble, yeah, which is Barnes a bookstore. Mm -hmm. It is a bookstore. Uh, mm -hmm. So, and I see if we have there about is, a bookstore on here. If there's one mm -hmm. thing that is universal about probably every American on the face of the planet. Is there a feeling you get when you walk into a, like a bookstore? Uh -uh. Like deep down in your gut. I have to poop. Exactly. Every time. Exactly. I don't know what it is. Walking into I, a bookstore. Huh. I can't say I've experienced are, that. <laughs> really? Never like, mind. And I'm talking about like, this is coming right now. I've pooped yeah. in that Barnes & Noble, <clears throat> but uh, it wasn't a yeah, so it's, a nice it's actually in there. a phenomenon. Yeah, it's almost why it's uh, called the Mariaki Aoki phenomenon is a Japanese expression <clears throat> referring to an urge to defecate that is suddenly felt after entering bookstores. The phenomenon's name derives itself from the name of the woman who mentioned the phenomenon in a magazine article in 1985. According to ja Japanese social psychologist, not saying that name, <laughs> the specific cause is tr that triggers a defecation urge in bookstores is not yet cl clearly understood. Well, they've had um, 40 years to figure it out. Well, there are some who are skeptical about whether a particular phenomenon really exists at all. Uh, some people have described it as an urban myth. Uh, but there are some hypotheses. Possible theories behind the phenomenon include the smell of paper and ink That's what having a laxative effect. Got it. Um, mm. The association with reading on the toilet at home which that yeah. doesn't happen anymore. Yeah, uh, the posture. Going to Apple store yeah, yeah. <laughs> if there was a TikTok store, <laughs> uh, you might as well set me up with a diaper, bro. Oh, Lord. Uh, <coughs> the posture of browsing, making bowel movements easier. Um, eh. Unless you're getting something on the bottom shelf. Like, yeah. yeah. I, I don't know what people are browsing. But, but what <laughs> do you not browse Also, browse everywhere. You um, the grocery, grocery store. store. Yeah. That's some serious browsing. <clears throat> some people say <laughs> yeah, like, they have <laughs> nervous there. feelings because there's all this knowledge or, or like how are people going to look at me whenever I'm uh, going through I the bookstore. Or like um, PTSD get, from school. Oh, <laughs> Maybe. Oh, right. I do get the anxiety thing. I feel that a little. A little mm -hmm. anxiety when you go Just, to the bookstore? Yeah. Especially if somebody's in the same little section you're looking in. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, they're going to think the book I picked Oh, for student. sure, yeah. How many? Yeah. How many times have you? Uh, but I don't do that at the grocery store when we're picking. <laughs> when we're picking food, and like somebody beside me picks a different brand, I'm not like. Yeah, but Ugh. yeah, but you don't care about that. It's you, the brain. It's the brain. It's, yeah, it's, your knowledge. You're knowledge worried about stuff. what they think. Um, your brain is, or, yeah. <laughs> knowledge okay. of the stuff. Yeah. I was trying to read through <laughs> this to make sure there wasn't anything else on there. Um. I feel yeah, like there's it's still very stores that that I get triggered in. McDonald's, no, not at all. Taco Bell, Taco what about a, a hardware store? <laughs> I meant like stores. Have you ever just oh, I've Home, Depot? Home Depot? Oh, <laughs> Many Lord. times. Yeah, that's a hard bathroom to get to too. Well, that it is, depends. They, you know, they got a lot of what paper is before it turns into paper. Maybe that's mm -hmm. why. You know, wood. I don't know. You know, you maybe there's wood? like a trigger. No, like. <laughs> She's trying to connect to like, bookstores I mean, look, to. I know I'm like poop to like bookstores and Home, Home Depot. She's yeah. trying to connect the two. Like trying to make that connection. Like, we're going lumber here. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. I'm, I mean, I is know. it similar Trees, to paper. when you have to go on a road trip, or you know you're going to be in line somewhere, and you're like, oh gosh, I have to pee, but you that. can't. I don't think I do. I don't know. I, I'm a nervous peer. Like I get mm. nervous. I'm like, oh, I need to go so I don't have to go later. And then you can't. Yeah, they have a stop. But let's be honest. There's pro there's not many stores around here that you could pick that I haven't gone to the bathroom. Oh, poo pooed. Yeah, yeah. 
I uh, yeah. You gotta leave your mark. Yeah. <laughs> have you well, have just, you ever met somebody? I still don't believe these people when they tell me that they can't poop anywhere but home. I have one. Yes. One I of have. my best friends. It was a groomsman of mine. I don't believe him. I've I know I just I, don't believe him. Right. Because, like, so what if he has an emergency? He just So he yeah. has pooped outside just like chooses in, the wild, in, in the wild. In nature. <laughs> yeah. But if at all there's an option, he's going home. Yeah. Really? If he has any chance to get home, he's going home. That's crazy. If I'm but down for TT, if I'm just, down the street, <laughs> if I'm down the street in the neighbor's house, I'll go poop in their house before no I poop in mine. Chance. Oh, don't. Oh, hey, I probably would. If I got to drop a deuce, yeah. Uh, I mean, and it, it also I pooped in Jared's house. Back. Jared's house, my next door neighbor. Oh, he did. I pooped in. And there. everybody That's knew insane. about it because Josh was like, "I need to go home." I'm like, "Why?" And he said, "Well, I just I I need to go. I got a." Uh, I have to poop. And Jared's like, our bathroom is right there. No. <laughs> so Josh was a little nervous. No, I, I was just, go, You did honestly, not want to do it. I didn't want to do it. Because and then I it got a, awkward because everyone's like, well, why don't you just, why are you going home to do that? We have a bathroom. Well, because they don't have a bidet. <laughs> oh, yeah. We have mm-hmm. a bidet. We do have a bidet. It has my stamp of approval, too. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> we were worried bidet. about it. <laughs> you um, made me use it. They're pretty nice. I was very I tried it anti. once. It was very... Yeah, she tried it once Very and then never refreshing. tried it again. I don't like if I have to go to the bathroom here. I don't go upstairs to use it. It's yeah. not like great. You're but welcome to. It was fine. Yeah. I don't know how clean it gets. Everything though. you have to like, wipe too. Yeah. Then, okay. That's uh, hey. It's one wipe and you're done though. Usually now for Josh, that's a big deal. Yeah, it but really if we're is. Do really that. Is. You could conceivably, conceivably just like get your toilet paper and then run it under the sink real fast and wipe. Because well, you're doing well, the it's same. Different. You want no. me to oh, it's get different. up from the toilet That's when so I got to the butt? We yeah. got a closet that we <laughs> got to poop in. On it, yeah. A little clo- poop closet. Gross. <laughs> That's gross. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that why they call it a water closet over in Europe. We call it a poop closet. WC. We do call <laughs> it. We got really excited. Well, yeah. We found that out. Do you have a poop outfit that you hang in there and change? Yeah. Called a birthday, birthday suit. Yeah. And then whenever you leave, you're coming out of the closet. So. So, uh, <clears throat> speaking of our next door neighbors and being friends, and you got to oh, be good. close to poop. You feel like you got to be close to somebody as yeah. a friend to poop in their house. So somewhat, unless it's a party. Anyway, I see where you're going. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> so there is a <laughs> there's a, a guy named Jeffrey Hall. He's a professor at the University of Kansas, and he has figured out the amount of hours it takes to become friends. So at thirty hours, now, is are, we, this, are we? Is this gender is it, specific? Uh, I was about to say that because th- that's way different hours. Yep. It's probably it probably is gender specific. <laughs> Pacific. What Pacific about Ocean? Atlantic? Uh, Indian. <laughs> um, so <clears throat> those are names of oceans. Yeah. Uh, so Arctic. this Arctic. is Arctic. I guess just like a general surprised. average or like okay. normal people. All right. Uh, at 30 hours, you can consider each other casual friends. 30 hours? 30 hours is casual friends. I'm going to tell so you So a now, day in a little bit. Me and Jared haven't spent 30 hours together. You probably have. But you have. I Not think so. Not a chance. How many, how many hours have you spent here at, at small 30. groups? Okay. And then yeah, for, for, okay. I said yeah. 30. And then, um, you got, you're good. Uh, what's it called? Fight nights. Yep. And helped him with a plumbing thing yeah. mm-hmm. that one time. The like other night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's on me. Uh, well, that's I how knew he, Jared, knew, he knew he was into the next so, yes, you know the next funny? level. So, <laughs> about me and Jared, that other house that we well, used that to live in. that wasn't about you and Jared. It was about me and Jared. No, this is about me and Jared. <laughs> okay. Uh, the other house that we used to live in. We, you and Jared. <laughs> yeah, me and Jared when we were lovers. Um, or roommates. Okay. That's fine, too. No. Okay. They no, were roommates. Lovers. Okay. <laughs> um, so that house... I constantly had we had a uh, septic problem or uh, yes, yes problems awful. with the, the yes. drain poop, pipes. poop almost, pipes. You like poison yourself. Poop heavy podcast and, today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, poop well, so <laughs> I kept like calling somebody to come clean the pipes out after a while. Like he only, he doesn't charge a lot of money, so that it made it was an easier decision than like doing it myself. But I knew that my dad had like an industrial snake yeah. for cleaning out pipes. And I never called my dad and said, Hey, can you bring that snake up here? Jared, the, probably the week that we move into the house, he's yeah. out there. He's out there trying to Snaking. figure out, 
No, nah, he's just he's trying to figure it out. Mm-hmm. And I walk over there and I'm like, hey, my dad's got an industrial snake. I'll get him to bring it over. Like I didn't even do it for myself. And I was like, within five minutes of meeting the dude, I was like, hey, let's clean out your poop at your house and be friends now. <laughs> That's how it all started. It's weird. That's your meat cute. Oh, yeah. Aww. Play on poop. Uh, 50 <laughs> hours, you can refer to yourself as friends mm-hmm. with no mm-hmm. qualifiers. Okay, right. So, like, this is my friend. It's not like this is the guy that I know from work, and then he's my wife's co worker, whatever. Okay. Um, and then let's see, the next one is um, 140 hours. It's a big leap. Okay. You can consider each other good friends. Not even best friends. No, not best friends. So that's almost six days. Six full days. Of time. Not sleeping, just spending time (laughs) with each other and being friends. Is that within 24 hours? That That was almost like... That's... So it'd be... That would be if... 24 hours. Yeah, that's a 24-hour day. Yeah. Okay. Dang. So six full days of of one... uh, Not one-on-one time, but six full days of intentional... Well, it doesn't even have to be intentional, I guess. That was... Well, that was like when we were talking for the first time like that first week we blew through all those a bunch of hours yeah a bunch of hours well, so does that yeah it's because you're trying to do build you, that do you want to take a guess at how Don't many you? best friend how many hours best friend a thousand i want to hear it what was the last three. 140 300 3200 and five it's just 300 300 oh <laughs> Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot more hours. That's a lot of hours. So it takes. So it it takes ten times the amount. No. Yes. Wait. Okay. It to takes, just become a casual friend. Yeah. To become a best friend. <clears throat> yeah. Takes ten times. Wow. Supposedly. I mean, that that's makes still sense. that's still not a ton. That's of hours. twelve and a half days. That's only so like weeks two, of time. Yeah. So what if you spent like? It's like me and Peyton huh. have been best friends since fifth grade. We're your best friends. Well, yeah, but there's, I mean, there's no multiple. That's way more than 300 hours. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think, I do, honestly, I think there is like a level that you attain in friendship that it's like, yeah. it's you can't be any more friends. Right. Like, mm. yeah. You know, because once you're to the point where you're just getting, yeah, you're learning more about them day to day because yeah. you've caught <clears throat> up. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. That you like, you talked to, or, What's new with Josh? I don't know. I talked to him a week. Yeah. Nothing's probably new. Yeah. 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 Um, so. 300 hours. 300 hours. Um, That's good to know. I want to say you take that and definitely double it for girls. Like if you. Cause I, I could see that. It's harder for girls to make friends than it is guys. Especially the older you get. Yeah, mm, I've it's noticed honestly that. easier for me the older I get. Because I'm just like, you want to yeah. be. We're cool now, right? Like. We can well, t- yeah. text and hang out. Yeah. Like I'm not. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't need a bunch of qualifiers. Mm. Like we both have kids that are around the same age, and you're kind of cool. Let's hang out. Your like, hair's a normal color. Yeah. Probably be friends. Yeah. That's about. Yeah. You and that hair. But there's definitely. A- I didn't see you walking yes. out with a a rolling backpack earlier. We could. Be cool. <laughs> Those y'all are, y'all yeah. remember yeah. rolling backpacks? Yes. yes, I had one. Yeah, I, I had. had so my mom tried to make me use one yep because i had like it was, was great do you problems. remember yeah do you remember that like fifth grade their no. stuff was like so cool america's kid the kids in america's backs are just scoliosis up but they still do yeah yeah they still do scoliosis checks all the, yeah, oh, okay. every year i was gonna ask because i just I've, i haven't but had a not, scoliosis screening since you can sign up and the school. nurse will give you a scoliosis check. I'm like, yeah. I, I could do a scoliosis check. Or it's like check. bend over, touch your toes, and yeah. they like yeah. see if Meg it's has curved. to do that yeah. from time to time. I did when I was young. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, I hope not. I hope not. Worse. I hope not. It's okay. Find because out some people married. in movie stop. Is that what you're doing when you're a kid? What's movie stop? Game stop. That little kid earlier. Oh my god. It's bumping that kid. Game stop. It was movie, movie stuff. Movie they were the stop. same. They were they were like sister they were owned stores. By the same company. So we just have Blockbuster and Movie yeah. Gallery. We so, didn't have that either. Dang. I'm from Louisiana. Movie Gallery is a, I think, a more regional thing. No, Movie Stop was more recent because I you could seen you could sell movies. Here. Same. Yeah, but Movie and, Gallery uh, was a regional yeah. thing. To, to, to out to Birmingham it, <laughs> at Al- least Alabama. We had one in Demopolis. They were so, so much better than Blockbusters. Yeah. Mm. We just had Blockbuster. It's like yeah. a mom and pop store compared yeah. to a chain. I the, miss Blockbuster. Um, 
but yeah, oh, that man. wasn't that. That was such a weird like. Everybody's backs is getting jacked up, so we got to start like putting them on rollers, and then. The concept is pretty ingenious, but I it's will luggage. say to, it's luggage at school. Yeah. yeah, but there's so many more kids like cramp, like having it on your back versus like rolling it behind yeah. you. That's mm-hmm. like space. And then nobody in a wants hallway. to get lockers. We would yeah. push it in front like a weed, like a lawnmower. The uh, <laughs> is that how I remember kids? there were some. <laughs> yeah, I guess. There were some that were like luggage, but then we had one that was like a wire rack. That you that just you, put your backpack into. Yeah, I had one of those too at one point. It. Yeah, yeah. Because we, because oh, my yeah. mom wouldn't buy me a real one. Yeah. So we got the and it folded down. Yeah. I think my mom just gave me a piece of luggage one day. It was like rolling backpack. <laughs> <laughs> the hard shell. Yeah. 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 It was like from go. the 1970s. It was it's that a, green color. Awesome. It's got the yeah. American Airlines tags still hanging <laughs> yeah. off from the last yeah. time. <clears throat> But yeah, it's uh, just a weird. We was we had our we carried our books everywhere we went. We I mean we had lockers, but we go to our locker to switch out our textbooks I, to go to the next class. And we oh would, we didn't carry them we mid would, class. It was just before and after school. Oh, we carried it throughout the day. Oh no, yeah. you book just bag, carried yeah. your books. Yeah. No, then, I'd, like, I'd have my book bag. We would no. The cool well, thing then how do, do you have your pencils and stuff? Is that your book bag? Well, I, I didn't him. have pockets. I, was a, <laughs> I did. Not at not at private Christian school. I was like, we had uniform. You can't have unless you put your pocket in like your little front pocket. Mm-hmm. But then you need a pocket. Were they worried right? that you were going to have weed if you had pockets or your sex worshiper? We, just, well, we couldn't wear jeans or anything with pockets. Uh, yeah. 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 Well, I didn't have a uniform, but we had yeah. a very strict dress code. Like we, had, we could wear. You could have wore pockets. I mean, there were shorts. I mean, yeah, but they don't really make women's. Well, women's pants don't really have very functional Mm -hmm. pockets most of the time. But we would take our backpacks and we'd extend them all the way down. So it literally like hung off our back. Oh, yeah, we'd do that too. And like, that was the cool. I think that was a generational thing. That was a cool thing to do. Would you one strap it? We'd one strap it. Just from like, it was a close class. At one point, we'd just put it on and just all the way tight. All the way tight. And buckle both. Yep. Top and bottom. Well, that's when you're being goofy. Backpack. I didn't have a hiking bag. I just had a North Face. Yeah, North Face. Oh, well, that's a hiking bag. <laughs> yeah. Did have the the North Face. No, <sighs> my dad had a whistle. I always wanted one with the whistle. I never. No, they're a sports whistle. brand, like Nike. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I messed up your transition. You that's can, fine. You it. Speaking of being in school, I'm sure in people do the nineties. Oh, we're okay. Movies. <laughs> yeah. Movie stop. We're not doing that. The one that we. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's my calculator. We're not doing it. Hold on. We're doing the movies. Okay. Yeah, right? doing the movies oh, yay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, speaking of the 90s and being These, growing up. Yep. And so this is from BuzzFeed. Like being old. The 25 most undeniably 90s movies ranked. Mm-hmm. Mm. I knew this was going to happen. Do you want me to do all 25 or you want to go no. to 10? Let's go to 10. Let's do the ones we actually know. Yeah, if you pass oh, by one okay, that you're okay. like, oh, yeah. yeah. So number uh, twenty four is Days and Confused. Yes, I never saw it. Haven't oh, seen it. Classic. Twenty three, Silence of the Lambs. That's yeah, that, that's a timeless. That's, that's, a timeless. that's timeless. Twenty two, yes. Shawshank. Oh my How gosh. was that nineties? I mean, it's so good. It also timeless. timeless. It was made in the nineties. I know, but it was it was a good movie. It, just, it was. I don't think nineties when I watch it. It's because it's not about the nineties. It was filmed in the nineties. Oh. That was it. I'm in. Twenty or. Er, yeah, Pretty Woman. Yes. Uh, Saving Private Ryan. Six Sense. Yep. I just watched that one the Good other day. Goodfellas. Nightmare Before Christmas. It's one of our favorite. Oh yeah. Movies. Twister. Oh Twister. Yes. That is where my fear comes from. Dolly. What? Not the the thing that they put yeah. in the back of the. You wonder why I'm so Dorothy. crazy. Dorothy. That Dorothy. is Dorothy. Dorothy. Not Dolly. Is that no? That's Storm Chaser. Nope. That's Twister. No, Twister. They had the Dorothy and They have too. all the little ping pong balls of wings. Yeah, on. Mm-hmm. that's that's uh, Dorothy. Harry Potter. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Doubtfire. Yes. yes. Which what number was that? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Yeah. Clueless. Yes, that is the epitome of nineties. Oh right. Forrest Pop Gump. Culture. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was a good the one. Lion King. Titanic better be on there. That's all I'm saying. Scream. I've never oh, seen. Scream. I've seen all of them. My sister got obsessed. Oh, with Baby Drew Barrymore. Fight Club. Jurassic Park, which is that new one coming out, is yeah. the last one. Really? It's the nah, last, it last. They've been saying well, they that. They said, brought everybody else it in. So this is gotta be, they said it's it not going to be uh, watched. I hope it's not. I'm well, just that's kind of like they said that for, about Toy Story. They're like, this is the last one. I'm yeah, crying and then they and made everything. five more. Yeah, now they make <clears> more. And Men in Black. Yep. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. Will Smith. Friday. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, you yeah. made me watch that movie. No, we watched... Uh, the one with uh, that they were in in prison. Yeah, um, uh, 
Life. Life. The funniest movie of all time. It's a, it's a good movie. Of all time, the funniest <clears throat> movie. Yeah. Hands down. Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. Movie. Like yes, Titanic. Titanic. Three is Titanic. Yep. Yes. Two is The Matrix. Uh, okay. I, I keep forgetting that. It was, was a big, big, it was a big movie. Oh, it was a big movie. Yes. It was never, a big movie. It did set the tone for a lot of things, I feel like. But I never number one is it. Speed. With the bus. Yeah. I've never seen mm. it. Do you know they had a second oh, one? Yes. Where it was a cruise ship. It's got Keanu Reeves in it. Yeah. yeah. The second one was a cruise ship that couldn't stop. And then it ended up like running through the middle of like a da- like downtown LA or something. <laughs> So stupid. It was very stupid. Is that <laughs> where Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock met? Probably. I think so. Because she, like, yeah. not that long They're ago, besties. was like, they had crushes, crushes on. Yeah, they both had. They both had crushes. Yeah. That's the number one. He, like, yeah. Yeah. You know, he, like, went to her house and brought her flowers. That's so sweet. Yeah. But she was like, oh, he's just, he doesn't yeah, like me. Are they both Canadian? He's married, isn't he? Or, has or he's Canadian. But I'm talking about back then. Oh, back then, yeah. I don't know. So that was I, don't, I don't see how that's the number one for me. But I feel like there's better movies. But I mean, it's BuzzFeed. Like, True. it's all subjective anyway. Yeah. yeah. I would say a couple of those were pretty good movies. And like, yeah, mm-hmm. I would I would like them. But like some of them. Like Shawshank, <clears throat> I feel like has higher credits. Than, that being number 22 is a trap. Yeah. So is The Sons of the Lambs. Yes. Mm-hmm. So pretty Woman. Ryan. The Sixth Sense, and then that gets beat out by Speed. Yeah. Good job, BuzzFeed. You're an idiot. Uh, So, I would like to, while we're sitting here for the next just a little bit, um, I've sent these to Lee a couple of times. Framed. Yeah. From the movies. Yeah. We should go, I want to go through this one and see if we can guess what it is. So, it's a a website, it's Framed. You know Wordle? Mm -hmm. Framed. just with movies. Framed.wtf. And so it gives you a frame from a movie and it gives you five or six guesses to guess what the movie it's just is. Like I've gotten some of these. I've gotten some of these on the first one. <clears throat> this mm. one, probably not. But it looks like maybe, maybe it's, there's like mountainous terrain. There's like a guy standing is that ice right there. Or is that water? That's, ice. <clears throat> that's either ice or snow. Okay. <clears throat> I thought it was water, and that was like a beach. Hmm. But that makes more sense. Can you zoom in on it? Yeah. Water, snow. Yeah, you zoomed in. And the man I thought was a... So that's definitely snow. Yeah. And then... I thought it was a lighthouse. <laughs> Is it um, Batman Begins? Like, you know, when he's climbing I up the... I don't... I don't think it's going to be Batman Begins. It's not. Okay. okay. Um, I've got one. I'm going to try if it's Silence... It's not silence. It was an that was an Adam Driver movie where he was like a monk and they were like walking mm-hmm. for like a super long time. So did you see this is in French, isn't it? Perfecture. Okay, then. Perfecture de, oh. de police monsieur. Okay, I think I. Ooh, is it is taken? Is it the Count of Monte Cristo? I don't think it's taken. Okay. Because that would this is like. I'm thinking France because they were in France. It's either the Count of Monte Cristo or Les Mis. Oh. Mm. oh, it could be Les Mis. I'll try. Les Mis are up. Boom. Yay. Huh? Is it really? Yep. Good. Good guess. Uh, how do you spell that? L-E-S. What? There it is. That, that just, was the third picture. He just wrote in Les Mis. Third picture. That was the fourth, fourth picture. Fifth, oh, yeah. Sixth. Oh, de- oh it that. gets yeah. Well, it, it gets, gets easier. easier. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty good, though. I didn't second, hold my mic that whole time. Second <laughs> pick. Yeah. I'm sure we're going to boom. Mm-hmm. For sure. Uh, speaking of stuff that we do all the time, mm-hmm. would you rather's? All right. Um, I have a would you rather that I saw this week that I thought would be pretty good, and then Meg got really excited, and so she's going to do some too. Um, I don't know if Lee has any. Um, uh-huh. We'll figure it. Out. Would you rather be trapped in a romantic comedy with your em- enemies or in a horror movie with your friends? Horror movie with your friends. Horror movies. I mean, it, comedy. Like yeah. as an actor? Uh, or it's, it's real life? It's real life. What horror movie? Mm. Horror movie. Because if it's like You're, prom night, it's just like, okay. Yeah. 
Scream, that's a guy with a mask yeah. on. We'll kill him real quick. I don't know. I'd probably do rom com just I with your too. enemies? Yeah. You want to spend forever with your enemies. Because I already I already have enough anxiety as it is. I don't want to be in a scary yeah. movie. I don't, I don't like scary your enemies movies. for the rest of your life wouldn't cause Frenemies. Anxiety. Frenemies. Yeah. Let's fine. let's sit down and watch a good scary movie and that's then fine. tell me afterwards whether or not you want to be in a scary you movie. Say or what you, can't. What? <clears throat> Like you spend the no. rest of your days with all of your enemies. But I don't have I'll any enemies. The, I'll take the other thing. I've I mean, I have people I don't necessarily get along with, suck, but I don't have enemies. But I think I would rather be in a romantic comedy. Yeah. That sounds enemies. way worse than being a horror movie. Hey, that's what this yeah. is about, though. Well, have fun with your friends. Rom-com. I just I, I will have fun with my dying friends. Dying with your friends. Yeah, all of y'all going to be dead. <laughs> Everybody don't always die in a horror movie. Pretty yeah. much. But you live in... Fear. fear usually fear it's the usually the, the main character lives and nobody else does That's but this true. is about me yeah and my but then friend, so, so then you would get new friends and then be all over again well, in you another. didn't say i had to do it again you just said one it would be <laughs> like live final destination yeah. like what final destination oh. okay <clears throat> would you rather sweat cheese or burp up sausages. I think we did this one. Did you really? We did a similar one. I can't sweat cheese. I'd have to burp sausages. Yeah. My clothes I'd, would all be ruined. I'd start burping yeah. just so I could eat. Yeah. Get a good burp uh, in. Like all get you a sausage. Just the rest of your life. What you kind sweat. of cheese? It doesn't feel like nacho cheese. Just imagine how much you sweat. <laughs> yeah. Versus how I much would, you burp. I don't sweat that I would much. have to go live like up north. <laughs> Everybody sweats all I the sweat time. All the time. Yes. Like I'm burping going. sausage. Move to Greenland. You're going. Yeah, you would. Uh, we sweat in our sleep every night. You would just sit in a vat of cheese. Well, I guess night. sausages. Nacho cheese. Yeah. You say you would just be. And it stinks. Like it's got a strong odor. Yeah. My feet would yeah, have yeah. cheese all over them every night. <laughs> Ew. So would my back and my. Oh, that's Some true. That from under. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Would you rather get a paper cut every day or step on attack every day? Paper cut. Paper cut. Step what? on attack. Depends on the paper cut. Where? I don't know. And, uh, paper cuts are horrible. They do. I got one the other day. Stabbed? But I think I'd I rather don't step on attack. I think I would rather get a paper step cut. Step on attack? I guess, Could I just stick myself with attack? Because I just no, stick got, my thumb No, you like have to step diabetic. on attack. See, that was oh, no. Stabbed. Step on every attack day. every day? I or I guess paper cut in your hand because that's where you're, you're handling paper with your hand. I'll cut right? my finger every day. And then Dang, you can get one. You just put That's you can awful. just put ointment and band aid on it. Annoying. So it's stepping on attack. That would hurt your foot. Mm-hmm. Paper cut. <clears throat> paper cut. I was gonna say you could change too. it to step on a Lego or step on attack. A Lego. Attack. Both are pretty bad. I know, but they both Legos hurt really are, bad. Have you ever stepped on Lego? You've only been stabbed my, <laughs> with with needles and such. That's the worst. I can't do needles, so I would pass out. Anyway. Okay, last one. Would you rather a gnome following you around, smacking your butt all day, every day, or someone scaring you at every corner you turn all day, every day? So either my wife or my wife. It's pretty easy. <laughs> take them both. I'm your yeah. gnome. Oh, uh, I'll take the gnome. Yeah, Carolina's my gnome. Definitely basically. gnome. She follows me around all day. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> With kids. Because yeah. yeah. at some point you just like... Yeah, this dude follows me around, slaps my butt. Like, I don't know. What do you want me to do? But it's not like a... It's like a... Oh, well, that's... I, that's fine. I'm not turning every corner and getting jumped at by somebody. <laughs> that's just not happening. <laughs> but you want to be in a horror movie. <laughs> I was about to <clears throat> say. Yeah, I'm going to kill what? you that way. Yeah, okay. Good luck. <clears throat> so it's a magical world where I'm stuck in a horror movie. I can't kill him. Yeah. <laughs> Who actually kills the killer? Nobody. Halloween, he never dies. They usually like I've never been have some untimely sure. demise... Where no, they like they like I fall off, yeah, fall off a cliff yeah, but or then something. they come back. True. They're like, yeah. like yeah. I, I watched it chapter Scream. two the other day. No, thank you. you it was no. it was actually kind of funny, but I can't. I don't do clowns. Oh, did y'all see that? Um, <laughs> hmm? I was trying to be real. Uh, Dang it! It made me laugh. Did y'all see that Flowers Bakery burned down? Flowers. Yeah, yeah. the bakeries burned down. Mm-mm. Their business is toast. <laughs> I was about to say we just mm. drove by it yesterday and it looked fine to me. Mm. <laughs> but I'm <laughs> uh, Oh man. Anyways. Yeah. Ooh, I can tell my Cheerio joke. No, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, thanks everybody for listening. Mm-hmm. That yeah. is episode 106. 106. 106. We finally had a watch back. Yeah. Oh, we didn't have it last week because I was 
Sick as a dog. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and we had the sickness in our home yeah, and teething babies. That day, and, mm. I was I was literally like, I, I can't sit up and just oh talk. Gosh. Like, I'll die if I do that. Thankfully, you didn't. Yeah, and I still mm. had to take care of the baby. <laughs> well, how's that work? I told yeah. you I would take I know, off. I know. <laughs> it ain't worth it. Right. I'm like, do you want me to take off? He's like, no. But again, guys, yeah. thank you. Uh, as always, thank you for letting us in your hearts and minds and your places of work and your homes. I ain't saying it. I ain't saying it. It's gross. What is it? And your butts. Oh.